This portion of the video shows you how to set up the hot water bath. Now this might seem like a relatively simple prospect, but there's actually a few safety concerns which uh, need to be mitigated and as a result of that, the setup gets a little bit complicated. It's more than just heating up water. So the hot water bath consists of start with the tripod and you put the copper wire gauze on top of it. Again, the uh, there's going to be some soot on the tripod. Don't worry, it's harmless. Copper mesh on top of that, big beaker on top of that. This is the fundamental basics of your hot water bath, but there's a problem. When we fill this with water, it will become slippery and top heavy. And if the beaker tips over, you're going to have boiling hot water and glass shards flying all over the place. Not a real safe situation. So we need some way to stabilize the beaker. That's where the copper wire and your accessory come in along with the laboratory stand. First of all, check the rod on the laboratory stand, make sure it's screwed into the base tightly. And then put the laboratory stand underneath the tripod. Now you can see there's a bit of space right here and what we're going to do is we're going to wrap a wire around the beaker. Okay, but obviously if we have this gap here then we're really not stabilizing anything. So what we really need to do is take some sort of accessory like this test tube clamp. You can also use a ring clamp, but that'll work just fine. If you use a test tube clamp, most of them have this bolt sticking out of them. Make sure the bolt faces away from the beaker. So you put the test tube clamp onto the lab stand at about the same level as the beaker. Generally speaking, a little on the high side is good because uh, the top is where it's most unstable. Get everything relatively tightly together, wrap the wire around it, and twist it shut just like those twist ties you get at the grocery store. Now the ends of the copper wire are going to be kind of sharp so you might want to fold them under the clamp to get them out of the way so that you don't poke yourself as you're working with the hot water bath itself. Now the hot water bath is reasonably stable and if it does move too far in one direction or another you can uh, the wire will catch it. Now right now I've twisted this on the twisted the copper wire shut on the test tube clamp side of the wire but it actually you can get it tighter you can actually get it tighter if you make your wire knot on the on the other side of your beaker because you you don't have to work around the test tube clamp. So if you tighten this up over here, you can actually get it much tighter and get a much more stable base. Again, a little closer to the top is better, but you want these sharp ends facing down to decrease the chance of you getting poked by it. Once you've got this reasonably stable setup, light your Bunsen burner, put it underneath the, hot, uh, underneath the beaker, and then I will come by with some preheated hot water. I don't want you using tap water because it'll take forever for tap water to boil. I should have some hot water ready to go by the time of the lap. Alright, so again, this is what you want. Beaker for your hot water, copper mesh that keeps thing, gives you a little bit of friction and also a little bit of thermal conductivity, tripod to support the beaker right beneath it, secondary support from the laboratory stand, the accessory, and the copper wire, and finally you get a little bit of extra heat from the Bunsen burner.